everyone, Uncle Jesse here. Sitting next to me is the original Elegoo Saturn that I seemingly can't find the top for. And this is the Elegoo Saturn S, which is sporting a slightly larger build volume and an internal air purifier. And this big boy here on the end is the brand new Elegoo Saturn II that is an 8K resolution resin 3D printer, the latest and greatest version of the Elegoo Saturn. And today we're gonna be comparing prints off of the original Saturn, the S and the Saturn II, and seeing what they look like. So one of the big requests that I've been getting ever since showing off the Saturn II a few weeks ago is can I show off some comparisons between all three machines? Because there's a good chance that some of you out there already own the original Elgu Saturn, or maybe you've recently upgraded to the Saturn S and are interested in checking out and seeing what the 8K version of the printer can do and if it's worth investing in upgrading in the printer. So today we're gonna to be printing the same set of files across all three machines with anti-aliasing turned on and without it turned on so that we can just compare the differences between the print qualities of all three of these machines. So the first files I want us to take a look at are these files from Loot Studios that were printed at their 75 millimeter scale. They're pre-supported and apologies in advance. I do not do a great job of removing supports, which you can see some residual support remnants all over the different prints here. But ranging from left to right, we've got the original Saturn, the Saturn S, and then the Saturn II all printed with the exact same settings using Elegoo's standard ABS-like resin. To be honest, I'm really having a hard time with my naked eye discerning any massive differences between the print quality of these. There's no immediate, oh man, there's some serious layer lines that I'm noticing between one print or the other. Uh, I will say that the details with my naked eye on the Saturn II definitely look sharper and crisper, especially with those chain details compared to what I'm seeing on the standard Saturn or the Saturn S. And even if I just take the standard Elegoo Saturn without anti-aliasing enabled, and I put it next to the Elegoo Saturn II with anti-aliasing, Again, no, it's not like massively different to me that I'm seeing in the difference of print quality here. They both look really good, to be honest. And maybe I'm not picking the best models for this test since there's so many details. I thought for sure that we might see some, you know, more solid layer lines on the original Saturn compared to the Saturn II, but I'm really not seeing that pop out as much here with this particular model in print. And just for comparison, this is the same set of models on the Saturn, Saturn S, and Saturn II with anti-aliasing enabled and printed again, all in the exact same settings across all three printers. And all of them look really good, minus my crappy support removal. <laughs> And here's another direct comparison of a larger bust that I'm hoping we'll be able to see a little bit more finer details on because this one again was printed on the original Saturn, the Saturn S, and then the Saturn II on the far right, all without anti-aliasing. And again, I think the prints overall look really good just with my naked eye. I think I'm gonna have to bust out one of the digital microscopes that I have so that we can really dig in and see the results of these prints. But again, uh, Overall, I'm not really seeing any massive differences between all three versions of the prints. One fun one to take a look at is the texture detail around the top of Gambit's mask there. I feel like on the original Saturn and the Saturn S, compared to the Saturn II, it's just a little bit harder to see that detail pop. Whereas on the Saturn II, it's just showing a good bit more. So let me just jump right in. I'm not exactly seeing the results that I thought I was gonna get from this little experiment, where I thought I'd be able to see just a clear night and day difference between the prints on the Elgu Saturn and the Saturn S compared to the 8K Saturn II. And with my naked eye, I'm just really not seeing it other than that the prints themselves look a lot crisper and cleaner coming off of the Saturn II. Even when I take a look at the prints underneath a digital microscope, I, it's really hard for me to distinguish the difference between what I'm actually seeing across the different machines. So what I decided to do was as fantastic as these models are, and again, maybe I just didn't use the right kind of model for this experiment, because based on a post that I saw from Elgu over on their Facebook group where they showed a, a, a print of a face, 
and you could clearly see the different layer pixelation lines there. I decided to create my own test file that you can then run off and attempt to print for yourself on your different machines to see these similar results. So I went into an app called Shaper 3D on my iPad and I designed up a few different test files and then just came up with different variations of them and brought them over into my slicer. I scaled them to the same size as the cones of calibration, which is another great example of an exposure test file that you can run off and print. So if you decide to print that particular file and you wanted to try and print these files along with it, you can do that and it's not gonna take you any additional time and it takes about anywhere between 40 to 50 minutes to run the entire print depending on what settings that you're using on your machines. And I'm really excited to say that I'm able to spot with my naked eye the differences between these two machines compared to the Saturn II. And before we dig into the results off of that oval file, I also wanted to mention that I designed this triangular shaped file that you can run off and print as well that has some internally built supports to help support it along the printing process. Uh, this one isn't gonna give you the best results, but it will show you all of the different layer lines very clearly as it's going up. And I should say it's not really that noticeable in terms of the difference between the Saturn, the Saturn S and the Saturn II because it should have pretty much the exact same settings of layer lines since we're printing at 0.05 millimeters. So I'm hoping I'll be able to clearly show this on camera, but this is the file off of the original Saturn, the Saturn S and the Saturn II. And even with my naked eye, I can see the ringing on the front face surface of the original Saturn, the Saturn S, and it is so faint over on the Saturn II. Again, all of the exact same settings were used for each of these prints off of the machines. And if we take this under the digital microscope, we can even see this further by comparing all of these. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't fit all three in the same position under the digital microscope, but here is the original Saturn, where again, you can see the ringing there on the front facing surface, the Saturn S with the ringing and then here is the Saturn II, which again is just much harder to see the front facing uh, surface lines of the print. So what I think this all comes down to is you're gonna get great prints regardless if you're printing off of the original Saturn, the Saturn S or the Saturn II. But if you're looking for that extra layer of detail as well as a larger build volume and that glass protective screen, it might be worth the extra money for you to upgrade to the Saturn II. Now, could I have gotten away with printing a lot less of these files and just, uh, just starting with that test file? Yeah, probably, but in hindsight, I didn't think of that. And now I have a test file that I can actively share with you all that will be available over on printables for you to download if you're interested in trying that out for yourself and seeing what it looks like on some of your resin 3D printers. I also wanna take a moment to say a big thank you to Elegoo for sponsoring today's video. They are the makers of all of the Elegoo Saturns that you see here and I featured in today's video, ranging from the original Saturn, the Saturn S and the Saturn II. If you weren't already aware, they had a big pre-launch event the other week releasing their Saturn II, the Mars 3 Pro, the Neptune 3, the new wash and cure station, some new 8K resin that I'll definitely be testing out soon, as well as some filament for your FDM 3D printers. If you're interested in picking up the Elegoo Saturn II, I'll have links down below to Elegoo's website where you can pre-order this unit. And I have to say all of the prints that I've gotten off from all of the machines just look fantastic with my naked eye, but again, the details are just a bit crisper and sharper coming off of the Saturn II. I also wanted to mention a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters for your continued support. If you're interested in my resin three printer settings, you can find those over on in my Patreon. But let me know down below what you thought about this little experiment and test, and if there's a different file or model that you'd like to see me run off and print on the Saturn II and compare against the other Saturns, let me know down below because maybe I'll print those and share those in a future video or I'll post those over on social media, make a TikTok, you know, all that good stuff. But let me know. Hey, thanks again for watching you all and I'll see you next time. Bye now.